did want to chat about uh, frameworks because I feel like, uh, you know, there's plenty of them out there. There's plenty of very well-known ones out there. Symphony is obviously huge. Um, you know, I, I've written things in, in Laravel before. There's Cake PHP, which I've also written in. Um, just feel like, uh, you know, as with obviously with, with most languages, there's a lot of buzz around uh, frameworks, which obviously makes sense. I've also ran into a lot of PHP developers that swore that they had to write their own uh, framework. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just wanted to uh, just have a general chat uh, talk about some, uh, you know, frameworks that, that uh, you know, that everyone here has worked with. So, if, uh, you know, I'm just kind of curious to hear some uh, kind of a state of the union on uh, PHP frameworks. If anyone wants to kind of take it away and maybe even say the first framework that you uh, you you uh, used, things like that. Yeah, I think that uh, Laravel gained a lot of popularity because of the robust and fast uh, development that it offers. Because uh, how, I, how I see the Laravel is that it's a one huge library of a one big boilerplate codes, uh, which can, uh, which are up to standard, and you don't need to sort of worry about implementing the author authentication because it has passport, for example, and stuff like that. And it also uh, is a very decent MVC pattern as well. Uh, and uh, uh, for the last couple of years, I think it also transitioned very well in terms of the solely API development as well. Because initially, I think why Laravel was launched was you know, because of this MVC. Uh, and uh, yeah, after, after that, it's when the front end and the back end, back end became kind of splitted and you had to sort of develop the API separately. Then I think Laravel also transitioned there as well. So, yeah. Yeah, and I, like to that, I remember the first framework I ever used was called Igniter, which is still around. And I really liked it. It's, it's a great framework. But I don't really use it nowadays. I usually go with Laravel. I tried using Symfony because I guess like Symfony maybe is the most um, famous framework around along with Laravel. But even Laravel uses like Symfony components, so Symfony is pretty standard thing. But I don't really like. No offense if there's any Symfony lovers watching this this video. But personally speaking, I, I I'd rather stick to Laravel. And I use a very small a micro framework called Fat Free PHP. I love it. It's a single file. I guess 40 kilobytes, extremely small. It like gives you lots of tools to build your stuff. Because usually PHP you build, like most of the times you build some small websites or things like that. So I guess micro frameworks, like just like, it's a perfect match with PHP. I'm a Symfony <laughs> fan. Are you? No, it's okay, yeah. yeah. No, oh! no, no offense, yeah. Kuba, no yeah. offense. <laughs> no problem. No, I think that's the... Uh, the way that Symfony enables you to to structure everything as you want, and it gets out of the way uh, immediately. I don't know, like two or three years ago, I switched to uh, domain-driven uh, design architecture, and Symfony is just perfect for this. You can store everything in a infrastructure layer. They came a long, long way. Things I we don't like in Laravel is all the magic that is happening there. This helper, uh, fel uh, helper functions, stuff like that. I, I'm a, you know, in, in case of backend, uh, when we usually have to deal with like imported data and stuff like that, I don't like magic. I, <laughs> I, I just want to have everything uh, strictly typed, break as soon as possible, give me these errors, and that's it. Yeah, Symfony does all, all all i need a great dependency injection based on interfaces a lot of stuff yeah what they did for example they used to have like the micro framework i don't even remember how was it called but since version 4 they they were managed to make a kernel so small that they, they just kill it because Symfony was enough to be a, a micro framework just using one or two traits and that's it, yeah? You could do everything like in uh, Node uh, Express JS, yeah? Kind of style, also very minimal. It was called Lumen, right? Or, 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 or is it Lumen the one from Laravel? No. No, no, I, guess yeah, I, I remember that Laravel. there is Lumen and Silix. So Silix is the one from Symfony then. Uh, Silex, maybe, Silex, yeah. yeah Silex, because there Silex, is there Silex. was a there is a Silk, which is also micro framework, I think. 
yeah. Uh, and yeah, it was Silex, something Silex. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah, like yeah. That. I never got to use it, but yeah. And then, like talking about magic, we have Cake PHP, right? I guess it's yeah. the more, the more like more magical of all PHP frameworks. Like yeah. <laughs> you, you add a single line of code, it builds everything to you. And yeah. If you don't like the yeah. way it comes out, I've then ne it's, I've it's never used out. it. I was a hard, uh, uh, hardcore boy, and I use a Zen framework. <laughs> okay, yeah. Zen yeah. framework. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That's, wow, yeah. that is a heavy one. That's a heavy one. Yeah, yeah. I tried to use Zen. And it, yeah. it, it the, me to the learning curve. Ooh. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was <laughs> it a took huge me learning curve. A there. while understanding everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, after a while, yeah, I, I got pretty good at it, and mm -hmm. it very, very nice tool. Very nice tool. The first framework I tried to use actually was Cake PHP, but it was like uh, basically in the past used to be a clone of Ruby on Rails. Right, they yep. wanted to do the same thing the same way, and I never really liked the Ruby on Rails, so I didn't like Cake. And then I went to Ignite and I said, "Okay, this is good." Because exactly what Kuba said, you write everything you see; it's explicit there. There's like not lots of magic happening. Right. Even though nowadays I kind of appreciate the little magic that happens behind Laravel. <laughs> For me, yeah. the, the first Symphony was very like Ruby on Rails, Rails, like scaffolding everything, you know, generating tons of code. Uh, very nice for simple blogs, uh, simple pages, but then when you had to like dig into these files and see what was generated, oh my god, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, so the, the, this is where, because I, I, I find it like, it's like, it's fun when you have a framework that, uh, that does quickly some things. But when you start writing like a very, very big applications, you just want framework to be your body and yeah. not, your, not, you know, uh, a guard to the club. Yeah, mm -hmm. asking you for, the, for, for the club membership and <laughs> your sneakers and saying, oh, my God, I forgot <laughs> it, man. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> yes, yes, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah. So for me, this is this is exactly symphony. I can I can tinker it uh, however I want, and it gets out of the way. 